Hey, what is going on? I have good news. My workbench controller project is finally done. For those of you who are just tuning in and have not seen any of the other build progress videos for this build, or for this project, I mean, uh, you'll have to go check them out if you want to see the details. But if not, uh, basically, I decided that my workbench is too dark, even with some bright LED lighting overhead. So what I did is bought some uh, LED light strings, and then I decided that I wanted to be able to adjust the brightness. So if I'm doing a video, I can turn the brightness down so it's not too harsh, or if I'm, you know, if I'm working on the breadboard and needing to get close or reading part numbers, you know, I wanted to be able to turn it up really bright so I have really good lighting. Uh, I just wanted to be able to adjust the lighting. And that kind of made me think maybe I should turn this into a project. And then I also wanted to do, uh, uh, timed outlets for my uh, soldering station and rework station so I was like okay well there's two things I could do with it and you know at that point I thought it might be wor worthy of uh, using in a microcontroller for and then I realized that uh, I had never hooked up the exhaust fans to my instrument rack so I you know I decided okay I could control those fans also uh, and then I plan on building a, like a workbench, kind of like, you know, like central air. This would be like a central fume extractor system that would hide back behind the bench in the corner. Because my bench is a corner bench, if you couldn't tell. Uh, you know, have like a box with some fans in it and a charcoal filter. And then maybe some tubing that comes around the side. And then with like a heavy base that I can set down with an opening on it and I can set it in front of whatever I'm soldering and it would suck the fumes out and it would be more quiet because all the noisy fans would be back behind the workbench back there. Uh, and all I'd have is just a little silicone or rubber tube coming out from uh, behind the bench that I could set wherever I want. And then I have a little uh, potentiometer on the end of it that I can uh, adjust to adjust the uh, suction so, uh, that was another thing. And I, at that point, I thought, okay, this is totally worthy of uh, doing a project for. So, uh, I got an Arduino. I started with an Uno, but uh, I started running out of pins, uh, namely the uh, PWM pins, because obviously all the fans I decided to use were uh, PWM pins, or PWM fans, the four pin ones. Um, and there's way too much timing stuff going on because I decided to use uh, IR control to control the uh, the controller basically. Uh, so I didn't want to use I did I basically didn't want to bit bang the PWM to get it you know a couple extra channels out. So instead of worrying about that, what I decided to do was up upgrade to well I already had a Leonardo so I didn't upgrade to it but upgrade this project to a Leonardo. Uh, and then I got an Adafruit PWM motor shield, but obviously you can use it for other stuff. I used it to power the LED light strings. It had four channels, which is perfect because I had four channels of LED lights. Um, I got an LC a 20 by 4 character LCD screen that you see up there. I mounted it to a little plywood panel that I painted black to match the rest of my bench. Um, the IR receiver is just to the left of the screen. You can't, you probably wouldn't be able to see it in this video from this distance. Uh, but anyways, I got everything completely wired up and ready to rock, and it worked brilliantly. I've been working on this for probably a month or two now. I'm, I haven't really been keeping track, but I think it's been at least one full month, if not probably two full months. So anyways, let's go ahead and do a demo. So I have a power button on here. It's always on. Um... I don't have a I don't have any form of time. I don't have a clock or anything here. Well, except for the time on my PC system tray, but that's only if my PC is actually on. I don't want the room to get hot, so I usually don't have that on unless I need to pull up a schematic, data sheet, something like that, look something up. Or if I'm just bored and eating dinner, I prefer to eat on my bench, which I don't mind getting dirty versus my main workstation, which I try to keep cleaner. Uh, so it's always on, but I put a power button there that's basically wired in the same way the power button on your a PC would be because this is used as a PC power supply uh, so just if something funky goes on if I if I see smoke if I smell something or I just for some reason need to shut the project off and a, anything connected to it I push the button and that cuts power to everything even the Arduino so um, 
It's basically the 12 volt line from the power supply is being stepped down to run the microcontroller, the screen, all that, all that jazz. And then the 12 volt line also runs all the fans and anything uh, involving 12 volts. So, uh, anyways, this power button is kind of a uh, wake up from sleep mode kind of deal. So if nothing is on, it, no it assumes that hey, this is a, the, it's off position. So if we hit the power, oh, I had to wake it up from screensaver first. So hit power, it goes to defaults, which is instrument rack fans to silent mode, and uh, the lights to I think 50%. I can adjust that in the code. All it is is just a, a variable that holds default values. And if I hit power again it shuts everything off. So both both of the outlets for those two guys could have been on and they would have been powered off. Uh, the fans are powered off, the lights are turned off. Uh, even the fume extractor, even though it doesn't exist yet in the code, uh, th those are shut off. The fan or fans for those. Um, so anyways, that's what the power button does. Um, if you want to actually see the UI up close, just pull up one of my older videos of of this project series and uh, I go over the UI plenty. Um, if you want me to go over the code, uh, post a comment or send me a message. If I get enough people asking for it, I'll probably do a video covering it, but I mean it is almost the entire Leonardo's sketch memory worth of code, so I mean it's I think it's like a couple thousand lines of code, if not maybe more. I don't remember off the top of my head. I just know it's at least a thousand lines of code. It's, it's huge. And that's not including the libraries, that's my code is taking up that much space. So uh, it's a lot to cover and I don't want to do it unless there are actually people that want to see what the code looks like or have use for it. And if so, I'll post it on GitHub and you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so anyways, if you hit uh, A, that goes to light mode and then I can hit down and that fades all the way down to off. If I hit up, it fades all the way to the brightest setting. Which it's hard for you to tell how bright that is because the camera's kind of doing an auto white balance adjust or exposure adjust. But uh, if I hit left, it goes down by 5% increments, which it's probably hard to tell in the video. If I go right, it goes up by 5% increments. So this is 75%. I'll fade to off. And then we'll fade all the way back up to 100. Okay, uh, if we hit B, that goes into the uh, instrument rack exhaust fan menu, and then it's on silent right now, so they're running, they're just at basically the quietest setting before you start making noise. Here's optimal, which you probably still can't hear, and then here's max. Yeah, and you can definitely hear that, they're loud. Most of the time, silent will be all I need, unless I'm doing uh, DC load and you know got both power supplies going doing doing a lot of stuff that kicks out heat then I might turn that up from uh, silent but uh, if I hit if I'm in the fan menu for the instrument rack and I hit B again then it goes into the fume extractor fan control menu which it doesn't exist yet but the software is completely ready to go and actually even the hardware is ready to go I just need to get some kind of fans or something to plug into it and I mean it's ready to go uh, if you hit C, that's the power menu. Actually, I'm going to switch hands. My hand is getting tired holding my phone up. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, if I hit C, that's the power menu. So let's turn on here. I'll get everything in view. I'm going to turn on the uh, soldering iron. Whoops. There we go. So as you'll see in about a second, the screen will come on. There you go. Soldering iron's on. And it's actually, the power's coming on instantly when I hit OK on the uh, the remote. It's just that these things actually have microcontrollers in them, and it takes a second for them to boot up. But when I shut it off, you'll see them turn off instantly, because, I mean, the power does get cut. So we'll go rework station off, and then we'll go back in the power menu, and then soldering station off. Whoops, I didn't hit OK. There you go. Uh, and, and you, well, like I said, if, if you want to see details about the UI up close, uh, go pull up one of my prior videos. But anyways, uh, I can set a timer in minutes, anywhere from zero to 30 minutes in one minute increments, or, uh, increments or intervals. So uh, if you set 30 minutes, I could be soldering for 20 minutes 
and then go eat dinner and then go do a bunch of other stuff, go mow the lawn or something, completely forget about it. And, you know, 10 minutes after I left, uh, it hits the 30 minute mark and then it shuts itself off. So that's the whole point of that. It's just a safety thing. So I don't burn the house down. And I know you might be saying, Hey, Belkin and a bunch of other brands sell timed outlets. Well, you know, I actually have one of those that I bought for my wife to use for her flat iron because she always leaves it on. Uh, they work great, but I don't want all the power wires on top of my bench, which means for me to use one of those, I have to crawl down there each time to turn on either of those guys, and that's just not ideal. So uh, this is a more elegant solution. Oh, and right there is the PDU with the solid state relays in it that... Uh, those two guys are plugged into that the uh, workbench controller controls. So uh, that is really it. I can't demonstrate the fume extractor because it doesn't exist yet. That will be my next project. But uh, I just kind of wanted to give a demonstration and show you, hey, look, I'm done. So look how clean my bench is. It has not been this clean for like two straight months. So uh, yeah, got a ton of cool projects planned and now I'll have time and the room on my workbench to be able to get those done so I'm pretty excited uh, I've been stuck on this project and it has been hogging every inch of space on my workbench and now I will be able to finally uh, <laughs> finally move on to something else so yeah thanks for watching and uh, I guess I will see you in the next video